Welcome back friends to another video debuting my newest member of my Louis Vuitton vintage family, my Keep All 55 in the beautiful monogram print with this gorgeous honey patina. So I'll just kind of just go around and show you the overview. There is a little bit of tearing in the vachetta but it isn't deep. And let me go ahead and show you the top piece right here. That is the zipper. And then let me turn this around here. See if it will focus for you all. Yes, and that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And then let me turn it around for everyone so you can see the back. Of course, this is all one piece of canvas, so this is technically the back because it is upside down. This is the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful bag. No tears in the corners or edges or where the vachetta meets. Just great, great quality. So let me go ahead and turn this around and explain a little bit of how I came to have this beautiful bag to be part of my collection. So I'm trying to get the handles to stand up on their own. Okay, so this is a vintage Louis Vuitton Keep All 55, and I think the 55 is right there. So that's the 55. But this is a vintage Louis Vuitton Keep All 55. I did purchase it for $337 with free shipping. I did purchase it from the same seller that I purchased my vintage Louis Vuitton Monceau from. And I think it was such a great price. It was a auction, so it was a bidding, kind of like a bidding war. So the, I think initial, bid was like 25 or 125 dollars but i ended up getting it for under 400 dollars, and it was just such an amazing deal so it did not come with a couple of things it did not come with the original bandolier vachetta strap and there wasn't a luggage tag and some of the key balls did have a little kind of like handle grip that people would use when they take this as a carry-on and so it didn't come with that. So I think that was probably reflective in the price point because it was kind of missing those things. So for me, that was not a con. I was able to purchase a Vachetta leather strap from Amazon. The patina doesn't quite match it right now just because it's brand new, but I know, you know, once it's, you know, been aged a little bit and I use you know some type of oils to kind of darken it to get this honey patina it's going to match perfectly so so I love this I love this bag I think it was a great amazing investment and I love the fact that I finally have a luxury Louis Vuitton duffel piece as you know, part of my collection. And for me, this was definitely something, sorry, look at that, something on there. This was definitely a, you know, good investment for me because currently I do pack this every single weekend because I am either staying at my boyfriend's house or we are going on you know, our little getaways, our family vacations. So I knew that I was going to get a lot of use out of something like this. Do you need to have a Louis Vuitton duffel? No. But if you want a Louis Vuitton duffel and you don't want to have to spend $800, $900, $1,800, $2,000, I would definitely say check out the pre-love market for a bag that's in great condition, that has tons of life left, tons of years to enjoy, you know, 
at a better price and a great, you know, a great investment piece and a good price point. So, of course, what comes with vintage pieces, you know, you do have to give them a little TLC, but that is something for me that is not an issue. I enjoy cleaning these bags and shining the brass up and just seeing like the potential that can come after you just give it a little TLC. So for me, this was a great, great purchase. I'm so excited to have this as part of my collection now. I do want to do a like what's in my bag or what I pack in this bag at some point when we go on our first vacation. We do have some trips planned this year, of course, so I'm excited to share what I'm going to pack in this bag. I could even pack this as like an overnight or like a three day weekend kind of like getaway bag. So I could also do a video like that and then just do a, you know, 30 day review on the bag itself. So I'm not going to bore you with the interior. I'm sure you've seen tons of videos. It's just a big black hole and, you know, you just kind of have to pack it like you would any other duffel. I will say what may be a con for somebody is the date code. It is very hard and not easily visible to read this specific date code. I feel in my personal opinion, I am not newer to the Louis Vuitton authentic pieces kind of like game. So I did feel confident in purchasing from this eBay seller in the fact, I'm going to have to turn it around, in the fact that my other bag is authentic and I know the date code origin was in October of 1991. Let me see if I can find this date code for you all and maybe, maybe you can read it. I think it, maybe it's on the other side. But so... That might be a con for somebody if you are kind of novice in purchasing luxury pieces. Sometimes that can be a con for people. So let me see if I can, actually I think it's on this side, sorry. See, it's so hard to read. But that might be a con for somebody. I plan on keeping this bag forever and ever. So for me, that's not too much of a con, okay. So let me zoom in here really quick and see if we can find an answer to the mystery. I see VI. Some people see MI. It's really hard to decipher if that's an 88 or an 8903. Let me put the flash on. Maybe that will help us. But see, it's just really hard to read the date code. So like I said, that might be a con for somebody, not for me personally. I feel like I'm pretty, pretty good at, you know, discerning a fake piece from a real piece. Um, am I an expert? Absolutely not. I'm just a avid Louis Vuitton bag collector and lover, and this is a hobby for me, so I felt confident from this purchase because I did purchase it from the same Japanese seller that I purchased my Monceau from, and that is totally authentic and verifiable and real. So I didn't have too much of a reservation, <clears throat> excuse me, for purchasing this bag and adding this to my collection. So that's my thoughts so far on my Vintage Keep All 55. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to film some more contact, eh, some more content for you all. I've already filmed this video like three times, so I'm not going to edit out the bloopers. So I can't wait to film more content for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to this little YouTube channel and I love and appreciate each and every one of you. So happy, what is today? Sunday. I'm going to be posting this video tomorrow, which will be Monday. So happy Sunday. Happy Valentine's Day if you are into Valentine's Day. Or happy un-Valentine's Day if you are a single person out there. So anyways, 
Happy Sunday, friends. I hope that you all have a beautiful and blessed and wonderful and positive and productive week. And I can't wait to see you in another video. Bye.